Good morning, it's New Life Base Camp and this morning we're looking at go and that can raise questions such as where and when and why. So I'm going to have a look at a bit of Caleb's story in Joshua chapter 14 and this is what Caleb says. I was 40 years old when Moses, the servant of the Lord, sent me from Kadesh Barnea to explore the land of Canaan. I returned and gave an honest report, but my brothers who went with me frightened the people from entering the promised land. For my part, I wholeheartedly followed the Lord my God. So that day Moses solemnly promised me, the land of Canaan on which you were just walking will be your grant of land and that of your descendants forever, because you wholeheartedly followed the Lord my God. Now as you can see, the Lord has kept me alive and well, as he promised for all these 45 years since Moses made this promise, even while Israel wandered in the wilderness. Today I am 85 years old. I am as strong now as I was when Moses sent me on that journey, and I can still travel and fight as well as I could then. So give me the hill country that the Lord promised me. You will remember that as scouts we found the descendants of Anak there living in great walled towns. But if the Lord is with me, I will drive them out of the land, just as the Lord said. So there are three things that struck me about Caleb at this point. He was willing to go and do something for God. And are we just as willing and do something when God calls us to go? He might just need to give us a nudge or it might be a massive light bulb moment. He was bold to ask for his bit of land and he was holding on to that promise that God had given me, such as I will be with you wherever you go. And it was the promise of the land. And we have promises throughout the Bible. At 85 years old, he had the strength to carry on. And he was prepared to fight for the land that God had promised. And are we prepared to keep going on? Let's pray. Thank you, Lord God, that your grace is sufficient for us through all aspects of life. I pray that you would draw very close to each and every one, so that in your strength we would be willing and ready to go and to do all that you have prepared for us. With our eyes on you, with you walking beside us and through us, we can keep going. Thank you, Lord. Amen.